Hello, welcome back. This is Matias with Yellowcase, and I'm going to be showing you where your downloads go when you, well, when you download them off the web. I get this question a lot from clients and friends and family about where their downloads have gone once they've downloaded them on their web browser. So I'm going to show you here. When you're working in Mac OS X, it's really important to remember that you have a home folder. I'm going to go to my home folder really easily. Now I'm looking at my Finder here. You'll notice it says Find in the top left corner. If you do not see Finder, make sure that you go down to your dock and you click on Finder down here. When you do that, it should say Find in the top left corner. So then go to Go, and you'll notice that one of the options under Go is Home. When you click on that, it'll open up your home folder. Now, you'll may, you may notice that I have a whole lot more folders than you do, or there's very likely that I do, um, and that they're not the default ones. The default ones you may notice, and yours is desktop, document, downloads. Uh, you'll probably have music, pictures, and so forth. The important thing to know here is that there's the downloads folder. And there's nothing special about this folder. It's simply in just any other folder called downloads. The difference is that in Mac OS X, your web browsers default to this folder. So when you download something, by default it goes here. Now what I recommend is that you grab this downloads folder and you drag it to your sidebar so that you have a shortcut to your downloads at any time in any Finder window. So if I close this window, if I open any hard drive, any folder, or create an empty Finder window, I will always have downloads here. Now you'll notice under downloads I have a couple files here. These are things that I've downloaded in the past. I'm going to go ahead and delete these. I'm going to select the first one, then I'm holding down the shift key, selecting the last one, and I'm going to file, move to trash. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to launch Safari. And I've already navigated to rogue amoeba forward slash freebies. And I used this uh, site for a previous tutorial about the sound source um, plugin here. Really neat little uh, free software. But you'll notice when I click on download now, it'll start downloading it. And if I go here to show downloads, or I can also go down to Windows Activity. It'll show me my activity window and what was downloaded last. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Finder by clicking on Finder. I'm going to go to my Downloads. And sure enough, there's the file I just downloaded. Now once again, this is in Apple's Safari web browser. So I'm going to minimize that and I'm going to launch Firefox. Firefox is uh, probably the most popular web browser, I think, uh, among the Mac community, uh, along with Safari. And if I go to download, I'm going to download a file here off the Epson website by clicking on download now. I'm going to pick the Mac version. And in Firefox, it'll prompt me if I want to open the file right after downloading or if I want to save the file. And I can go ahead and just say save the file. OK. Now when that happens, it'll save the file to the default location. In this case, once again, the downloads folder. So there it is. There's what I just downloaded. Now what if I want to change this? What if I don't want it to go to my downloads folder? In each program, in this case Safari and Firefox, I can go to the preferences by selecting the name of the application in the top left corner, selecting preferences. And in the case of Firefox, I can notice where it says save files to. Now I'm in the Generals area here, as you can see. General is indented. I can just click on Choose. Let's say that I want the files to download to my desktop. I simply select Desktop, click on Open, and you'll notice it now says Save Files to Desktop. So the next time I go to download, it'll save it to my desktop. And that might be a little bit easier for most people to find the files that they want to download. Just remember, after a while, all these downloads will start to accumulate. So go to Finder. Go to Downloads and delete these, especially when you don't need them. All right. Well, I hope that helps. Uh, tip of the day for the Downloads folder.